And I've been a liberal most of my life. Oh, is that right? Liberal oh, okay. most of my life. And his father was amazing, but he's nowhere like his father. Well, I'm here at Spaducci Mercado in Toronto. This is the venue for an event called An Evening with the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau. That's a fancy name for a $1,600 a plate fundraising dinner for the beleaguered Liberal Party of Canada. Now, I was hoping to get uh, Justin Trudeau on camera, but as you can see, he's already in the venue and uh, we are not. But as you can see, uh, no sign of the Prime Minister outside, so maybe we can find some of the, um, the Liberal loyalists, the people that still support Prime Minister Trudeau and this party, and see what they have to say. Hi, sir. Can I ask uh, what brings you out to the uh, Trudeau event? Judo. Trudeau. Yes. Oh. Trudeau or Judo? <laughs> Trudeau. What, do you, what did you call it, ma'am? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, you're not here for uh, an evening with the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau? No, we're here for dinner. Oh, okay then. Oh. Hi, guys. What brings you out to the fundraiser tonight? Uh, I'm not sure about any fundraiser. Oh, is that right? You're not here for an evening with the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau? Uh, no, I wasn't aware of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought this is where they're having a $1,600 a plate dinner, sir. Uh, I, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are people pretending to not be going to this event or maybe it just is people going to their favorite restaurant are they going to learn the hard way it's uh, 1600 big ones to get in tonight well forgive my Italian I think it is pronounced Beducci Mercado and this is where we were told the Prime Minister is having a $1600 a plate dinner and there's you know a, a lot of uh, muscly types with uh, heaters around here so either there's someone very important in this restaurant or we're in a really bad part of town hey guys are you here for the uh, yeah. Justin Trudeau dinner okay are you still supporters of the Liberal Party okay then uh, what do you think of all the scandals that have been unfolding in the last several weeks what, what? what do you think of the scandals that have been unfolding such as you know uh, Jody Wilson Raybolt and well I haven't seen that in the news so you I've seen any news about that? Uh, no, I haven't seen any news. Okay, then. Do you, do, you th do you think that Justin Trudeau still has the moral authority in which to govern? Yeah, I think so. I do think so. So I believe it. Mm. All right. But he seems to have a trouble uh, with the word no from powerful woman. Do you think he is still a feminist, our prime minister? Yeah, I do think so. But uh, I think... Mr. Trudeau has his only policies, has his uh, ideas to solve any problems. So I, I trust him, so, oh, okay. but uh, I have no further ideas about that. Oh, okay. Are you still supporters of uh, the Prime Minister? Yes. What do you think about all the scandals that are happening right now, sir? Well, um, Justin Trudeau supporters, for the most part, tend to be a little camera shy. But really, given the events of the last week, well, the last several weeks, can you blame them? You're here for the uh, Trudeau event. Are you still a supporter of the Prime Minister, sir? Yes. Yeah. What do you make of all the scandals that have been occurring? No scandals. No scandals? What do you think of Justin Trudeau these days, guys? I think he's doing a fine job. Okay, even with uh, the Jody Wilson-Raybolt file? He's doing a fine job. Okay. Doing a fine job. Hate to see a bad job. How you doing, sir? Do you think Justin Trudeau still has the moral authority in which to govern these days? I think he does, yes. Yeah. It's very difficult to govern. Lots, lots of challenges. What do you think of his handling of the whole Jody Wilson-Raybould affair? Uh, I haven't been paying much attention to it, and I just kind of ignore it. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> But, you know, for someone who proclaims to be a feminist, it seems that our Prime Minister has a lot of trouble accepting the word no from woman. He's, uh, well, it's like all men probably have that problem at home, or, you know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> he's not the only one. <laughs> okay. but, you're, but tonight you're here and you're coughing up $1,600 to have dinner here. Yes, yes. Do yeah. yes. you think it's money well spent? I, yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'll help him out, no problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you think uh, Justin Trudeau still has the moral authority in which to govern, guys? No? No? 
I don't know if he said no to the question or no as in no comment, because we got a lot of that here tonight. We're just um, asking people um, if Justin Trudeau still has the moral authority in which to govern. Of course. He does. Yes. Okay, What's your view of um, all the scandals that have been happening right now with Jody Wilson-Raybould, Jane Philpott? To be honest, I'm not sh too sure about that. But uh, from what I do know and from what I have gathered, uh, I believe he is, uh, he is a, he's a good person. Well, certainly uh, his approval rating and that of the Liberal Party has been falling uh, greatly in recent polls. What do you think that is? Do you think Canadians are seeing through, you know, his his politics or what he's saying? I'm not too sure. Okay. Yeah, I can't tell um, about what everyone else is thinking. But for the question you've asked me, I think uh, moral compass is still on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Before you leave, what do you think his greatest accomplishment to date has been, sir? I believe his greatest accomplishment is, um, hmm, that's a very good question. So far, I feel like his presence with the people. Hmm. I find that uh, his presence as a prime minister, for, for myself personally, has been a lot more um, apparent. Oh, okay. yeah. what, what, what do you mean by that exactly? I'm not sure I understand. Essentially, I, I find that he is um, a man of the people, and he he's going to these events and he's, he's trying to make himself, uh, trying to, I guess, fundraise and those kinds of things. And so everything he's been doing, I'm like, I, we're all well aware of, okay. and he's uh, having these events so we can all participate and, and and kind of see where the 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 plan is headed. But in fairness, sir, how many people in Canada can afford to spend sixteen hundred dollars <laughs> for a plate? Of course, sir, sir, this is a one-off uh, thing, obviously. I mean, we're having a discussion here, right? Correct. Right. Okay. We're just asking people, do you think Justin Trudeau still has the moral authority in which to govern? Absolutely. Really? Do you think he treats women properly? I do, actually, okay. sincerely. Okay, but... He's a really good man. He treats women really well. well. He says he's a feminist, but he seems to have a lot of trouble uh, accepting the word no from women like Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott. No comments. I think he is. He really supports women, and he's a good prime minister. And I hope he'll win. Now, folks, we're pretty sure Justin Trudeau is here at this restaurant because the last time I saw a motorcade this big, it was at a United Nations climate change summit. And just like those summits, you know, we've got a Chrysler 300, which you can't see from here, sedan. We've got four Chevy Suburbans, a Ford Expedition. Two Toyota Siennas, they've been here for about two hours, and just look at the tailpipes. The engines have been running all this time. Do you think maybe in the House of Commons right now, Catherine McKenna weeps? You know what, we made that observation too, sir. There's like uh, several SUVs, minivans, sedans, yeah. and for a, at least two hours now, all their motors have been running. Do you think uh, maybe Catherine McKenna is uh, tearing up over this? Possibly, yeah, possibly. Uh, tell, uh, tell the Prime Minister to get rid of that carbon tax because the government has enough money and they give it away to, they give it away to all these countries, 30 million here, 40 million there. I mean, you know, there's people in Toronto, poor people, homeless people, give it to them first. Indeed, and uh, certainly we've done stories of uh, homeless people uh, being forced to camp under the Gardner Expressway while refugees are being put up in hotels, so you make a good point. But a lot of the people we ask um, whether Trudeau has the moral authority in which to govern, and they say he still does, but what's your uh, take given uh, think, the events? I think there's too many faults in the government right now, and I'm not so sure... Uh, he ha he's, he will. I mean, he has the authority to govern. I mean, he's obviously the prime minister for another year or a year and a half, whatever it may be. But um, I don't think, in the next election, personally, that uh, he can. He can. The Liberals can pull through. I really don't have that uh, feeling. I, I, f I have a feeling that uh, Andrew Scheer has uh, is coming up in his power. Okay. I think the Conservatives, and I've been a Liberal most of my life. Oh, is that right? Okay. And his father was amazing. But he's nowhere like his father. You know, 
know, well, you know what? This is very damning testimony. If you're a lifelong liberal and you've had it, uh, I wonder how many um, people like yourself, sir, are, espouse the same opinion. Probably a lot. I, I would presume a lot. Everyone I speak to says that they're not voting for for Trudeau in the next election. Wow. That's that's the majority of the people that I speak to. Well, we'll see what happens in another six months, then, sir. Thank you for your time. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to vote. Call Donald Trump in. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. The liberal loyalists, at least the ones that would talk to us, they still believe in sunny ways, my friends, sunny ways. But meanwhile, outside, even though it's allegedly spring, it is freezing. And for some reason, I think the frigid climate right now pretty much reflects the way most Canadians feel about the attitude and behavior of Justin Trudeau these days. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, you may have heard the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.